Hey guys, how you doing? Today, I'm going to go over an issue that I, I had personally with my RAID cards or, or more with Windows. Um, so here's the deal. I don't think you're supposed to be able to get legacy RAID cards. Like I'm talking about LSI RAID cards, but they're also rebranded uh, in Dell servers and um, other other computers so what i'm talking about and i'll pull up a picture here so what i'm talking about is uh the raid cards i have i have two of them that i use just at my house so th this is what i use and i have i have uh there's a little physical key that slides onto one of the these pins here which actually just unlocks capabilities like RAID 6 and uh, cache, like disk cache or using SSD cache, I think. Uh, but it unlocks like all the capabilities, which is really weird. Um, so I, maybe it's not that weird. I don't know. But if you do have this RAID card, um, I would recommend if you can find it, getting this little guy uh raid card cashcade pro 2.0 software physical key one other quick note um just before we start and this is nothing to do with the video and uh what i'm gonna do is show you how to get this raid card to work on windows 10 um after 1909 update so this raid card worked fine on windows 10 i'm also going to show you windows 11 but this raid card worked fine on uh windows 10 1909 but as soon as it went to 20 or like 22 h2 i think it is yeah 22 h2 so what i think happened is they took windows 10 update when it went 22 h2 and made it a lot like windows 11 um as far as not stuff you would notice but as something in it because it works fine on Windows 10, 1909 or previous, but as soon as that 22H2 or what any update, any feature update, like the big ones for Windows 10, after 1909, <clears throat> this RAID card doesn't work. Uh, if you're installing a Windows 10 version of, you know, after 1909, like 22H2 or whatever, you know, the ones in between, um, it, it won't work. You'll just blue screen when you try to install Windows 10. And also when you try to install Windows 11 with the RAID card installed, you remove the RAID card from the PCI slot and it works fine. And I don't think this is supposed to be compatible um, with Windows 10 after 1909 or Windows 11. But just to, you know, prove what I'm staying here um, i'm gonna open up device manager on this computer and we're gonna go device manager and then i will show you storage controllers you can see right here lsi mega raid 9266 8i this is on a window windows 11 is what i'm on on this computer so this is my other computer. I just am on a remote desktop session. If you don't know what remote desktop is, it connects to another computer and it's like you're on it. Um, kind of unimportant, but just so you know. And this one is, we'll look here, uh, Windows 10 Pro 22H2. Um, so I was stuck at 1909 for like years anything after 1909 what would happen is the update would come up up here down here like right here and i would try to install it and it wouldn't install because of the raid card which i didn't know at first and then it would just revert back to 1909 so i couldn't install any feature updates forever until like a month ago when i actually dug into the issue and tried to figure out um how to solve it and what I would get, I would get a storeport.sys blue screen of death. Then I started thinking about it and I was like, storeport, storage port. 
Uh, you know, and I thought, okay, maybe it's the raid cards. What you have to do um, is get the correct driver. Uh, because what happened, for whatever reason, Windows 11 and Windows 10 22H, they don't have the right driver for this raid card anymore. Um, so it just, it doesn't work. And when you go to install it from fresh, I wasn't able to hit the button to install a driver. Maybe, maybe you can do that. And if you can go ahead, but how I did it, I did it two different ways. If you already are on windows 10 and you're having the same issue where you can't update past 1909 then what you have to do all right first what you do go to broadcom.com i'll leave a link in the description and uh support documents and downloads and then you have to find your card your card may be different than mine uh so what i do is go down here legacy products all legacy and then i'll type in just like 9266 my card's a mega raid sas 9266 8i so i click on that and then search and we are looking for drivers and download this driver here so here's the folder windows 10 x64 is probably what everyone's going to want and take note in here, there's uh, two drivers, actually. Um, and if you're not familiar with this type of uh, driver, uh, there's setup information file. You can right-click on these and install. Or if you're on Windows 11, show more options, install. Uh, and you can install the drivers that way. So anyway, like I was saying, there's two of them. There's a no dev, meaning no device. So the no dev is the one you want to install if your raid card is not physically installed in the computer. So on if you've done a fresh install and uh, when you put the raid card in your computer blue screens on startup, the no dev is what you would need. And if you do it the other way, so if you have Windows 10 1909 and are trying to update past that to 22H2 or what have you, then with the, if the RAID card is installed, then you need this one. And then the update will uh, work. And how you install these is you can go uh, again to Device Manager. I don't like, you know, it's just a quick side note. I don't like on Windows 11 how it has show more options. Why don't you have manage on the first screen? It's it's ridiculous. Some stuff about Windows 11 is okay and cool. And uh, that is not one of those. So, device manager. Uh, down here. Oops. <laughs> That's not correct. Storage controllers. Uh, so if, like I said, if you have the, uh, card installed on an older version, it's pretty easy. You just download the driver, right click on the card, update driver, and you browse the computer and you want to go to the desktop windows 10 X 64, hit okay, hit next. It'll install the driver. And verify that the RAID, and then you'll want to restart. But verify that the driver is actually correct, that the device is using the correct driver. And you can do that by clicking on, actually, you, you right-click properties, uh, driver. And then you can see it says LSI Corp, and you can see the version here, driver version. And you can verify that um, from the folder that you downloaded the driver uh the folder up here says uh six seven fourteen eighteen zero zero so that's the same uh right here when you go driver 
six, seven, fourteen, eighteen, zero LSI. <clears throat> I believe if you don't install this driver, it'll use um, a Microsoft one, whatever one is in Windows. Um, and previous to 1909, that was fine and it worked post or after 1909 does not work anymore. Now, that's for if you're running, like I said, Windows 10, 1909, and you're not doing a fresh install. And you just want the update updated. Uh, or the Windows version updated. Now, it's a little different if you're... If you are doing a fresh install of Windows 10 and your Windows 10 version is past 1909, or if you are installing a fresh version, fresh install of Windows 11, it's it's the same thing. Um, so for that, you would unplug the RAID card so it's not physically in the computer and do a normal Windows installation and then once you have all that set up like you want, uh, you boot into Windows. The RAID card is still not installed. And at that point, this is, this is how I did it. So you probably can, you, you can try not doing what I'm about to show you. You can try just going to this folder right-clicking the no dev and install like that and that may work for you if it doesn't then what you have to do or what i did this is what i did because uh just installing it didn't seem to work uh, even though it should be the same it, it didn't seem like it worked for me but um what i did was this setup information for the non no dev so this file i just moved this out of the folder and then that'll make it so that the computer can't install anything except the no dev one the no device one and then um action i click on uh storage controllers and i do action add driver and this will add a driver to the computer for when you install a device at a later date which is what you need to do because you can't boot the computer with the RAID card installed. So then you would browse desktop, the, the, the same folder. The only difference is now you've removed this file. So it's when you do this and click next, uh, it says not all drivers were successfully installed. But you can see here it says no dev INF successfully added, et cetera, et cetera. And that's because you remove this file. Uh, you want to go make sure you go back in the folder and uh, re-add or put, the, put this back in. And that should be it. After that, you will reboot the computer and this should show up so the the other one is self-explanatory the windows 10 if 1909 you just install the driver because the rate guards are already in there for this one after you install the no device driver and a shut off the computer plug in your raid card boot up your computer it should boot into windows and it'll have this under the storage controllers it may not say lsi mega raid it may say something else um but i think it'll say lsi mega raid if i remember with the no device but then <clears throat> then you want to update the driver again browse and make sure you added that file back into the folder and then you would go to the same same folder, click OK, Next, and go through the process. And it'll install the drivers, the actual drivers, not the no device drivers, but the other version. And after that, you should, should be all good. If that's all you needed, uh, you can stop the video here and go give it a try. 
I am going to say a couple things, though. Just if you have one of these cards, I bought both mine used off eBay. And uh, actually, you know what? We'll start with this, um, the MSM. So if, if you have one of these cards and you aren't using this Mega Raid Storage Manager, which I've seen at at jobs, at working for customers, uh, they'll have servers and they have Dell servers especially have these raid cards and probably a lot of other servers I would imagine have rebranded LSI cards. Uh, but none of, a lot of them don't have mega raid storage manager installed. Um, so if you have one of these cards, make sure you install this, uh, because you can control, you can make your, your raid arrays in here. You can make adjustments and so on. You don't have to do it before you boot into the computer with the raid controller, the raid firmware. Um, so yeah, just download, install this. One other thing <clears throat> I'll say about this for me, buying used cards. When I got both the cards I purchased, um, they, I took off the, uh, the heat sink and the paste was just bad. It was rock hard on both of them. And if you look here, at the temps which also that's another reason to install this software so you can see <clears throat> you know what the temperature is of your chip mine is 57 right now which is phenomenal it's awesome and the reason it's 57 and not 80 to 100 like these things will get over 100 c uh in a regular computer case which is the factory um heat sink so redoing the thermal paste helps, but also I use a small case fan, just like a, actually, you know what I use? You can use a case fan, but I use those default, uh, fans that come with, uh, Intel processors. Um, I use one of those and I zip tie it in the case and I just point it at the, uh, the raid card and it brings the temps from like 80 down to you know 50 in the 50s maybe 60s and yeah it's it's not the most pretty looking but i i don't care like i don't want i like to have my stuff cool and if i can put a little fan pointing at my raid card i'm all about it so that's the last two things i'll say just you know if you buy one of these used, I would redo the thermal paste and then just point a fan at it so that you have cooler temps and it'll let your, your equipment will just last longer. So anyway, that's it. That's all I got to say. I hope you found this video useful. Um, if you have any questions, you can leave a comment or just leave a comment and let me know if this video helped you. Thanks. Later.